Quasar's avatar component is a little bit difficult to explain without some examples. So let's just dive right into using it and it'll start to make sense to you where you might want to use the Q avatar component in your application. So Q dash avatar, let's go ahead and use it and straight out we're going to see nothing at all. Let's change the color of that equal to blue. And now we can see we just get a nice circle there. Not a lot. Now we come in here and add an icon, for example, a person, that's gonna throw that directly in the center, which is really nice. But we might wanna change the color as well. So let's say text color is equal to white. And there you have it. Or you might even wanna change this to something like blue dash seven, and then set the color of it equal to blue dash two. That's kind of a cool effect. Another thing you can do is change the font size. So let's change that to 1.4 EM. And that's gonna change the font. Doesn't really work in this scenario, but you might wanna make it smaller, for example. So let's just say 12 pixels. And there you have it. All right, so let's get rid of that and see what else we can do. We can throw an image directly in there. So if we get rid of icon here and get rid of the color, in fact, we can get rid of all of it. We can now just throw an image directly in there. For example, image, and then let's set the source equal to https slash slash pixum.photos slash 100, how about 200 by 200? And there you have it. We get this really nice photo inside of our avatar. And notice that it flashes for a moment and we can't see anything. So in that scenario, let me just refresh the page again and notice we get white for a moment. In that scenario, you might wanna add, for example, a class with a shadow of one. And now we can just see that there's an avatar there. And then when it flashes, it comes back in there. And this might even be a good situation to use the Q image component. So we get a nice little loader as that's loading. Really cool stuff. What else can we do? We can set the content as text. So for example, 22 here, that can tell us that we've got 22, I don't know, maybe emails. How about we now set the color equal to indigo and then the text color to white. Oh, spelled that wrong, indigo. Nice. Another thing that we can do is change the styling a little bit here. So if we want, we can square it off. And another thing we could do, if you wanna have that nice sort of rounded border effect, is just say rounded. And that's just gonna round off those borders a little bit there. So that's about it for the styling, but where the Q avatar component really shines is when you place it within other components. It's really smart at basically dealing with all of these different contexts. Let me show you what I mean. If I grab all of this and cut it, we can add in here a Q-chip component. And then inside of there, we can just whack the avatar straight in, no extra work, and then say emails. And there we go, you've got 22 emails. See how it just fits in there nicely and does all of the hard work for you? I love this component. And you'll notice that this is a theme throughout your application. You can throw the Q avatar into these different situations and it'll look really, really good. So let's grab it again, cut that, and just paste it over here to bring us back to our original example and see another situation we can use it. How about a Q dash button? And I'm gonna make this a round button and then throw the avatar directly in there. Let's get rid of rounded here. We don't really need that anymore. And there we go. We've got a button using the Q avatar component. How cool is that? This could also be, for example, an image of someone. So maybe you wanna say source, and then that's gonna be a photo. Not source, sorry, that should be image. And then we can say that the source is equal to pixum.photos slash 70 by 70. Let's see what we get there. And there you go. In this situation, you might wanna remove the color there as well. It's kind of messing with it a little bit. Sweet. Now you can have a button for all of the different people, like maybe all of the different users could have their own button and when you click on it, something happens. And if you wanna make this more pronounced, you can do other stuff like changing the shadow, shadow dash four maybe, just to make it stand out a little bit more. There's lots of cool stuff we can do here. So that's using Q avatar inside of a button. Cut that, paste it in there. So we're back to our original example. What else can we do? Well, we could put it in an item. This is a great situation, especially if you have a contacts list. Q-list, Q-item, and let's add a section in there, Q-item-section. I used to think that this was way too much markup, 
But then as I started to learn all the situations and the scenarios you can have for lists, I realized that this markup is absolutely wonderful. The more you play around with the list component, the more you'll realize that this markup just totally makes sense. All right, so let's cut this. Whack it directly in there as an item section. And we want this item section to be a side item. There we go. Doesn't look like much yet. Let's make this clickable by saying clickable just so we can hover over that and actually see it. Cool. Now we can add in here the person's name. So maybe this is me. And then we can add in another section. Oh, actually, I might put that in its own section. So let's cut that. Q dash item dash section. All right. So we've got the section for the avatar, the section for my name, and then we'll add in another section. And this could represent how many messages, for example, you have from me. So let's say 12 messages. Oh, and this also needs to have side. And there we go, it displays nicely. However, in this situation, let's make it look a bit nicer by saying style is equal to width, maybe 300 pixels, just as an example. There we go. So you can imagine if you had a bunch of those, uh, in fact, let's just say here, V-4 is equal to I in uh, maybe 15. And then we'll say the key is equal to I. This is a quick way just to spit out lots of components. And there we go. You can imagine this would make a really cool contact list. I love this component. All right, what else can we do? Let's cut this and let's paste it back in there. So we're back to our original example. And I'll give you one more and that's using the Q banner component. So let's say Q dash banner here will have a template and it's actually got a template specifically for an avatar. So now we can just whack that avatar directly in there. And I might get rid of this and change it to padding. Yeah, just so that this is thrown to the top of the page. All right, so now we can also say class is equal to background dash blue. Maybe round off those borders, rounded. And let's change this from an image to an icon. So you could say icon is equal to Wi-Fi. We'll have to get rid of the image inside of there now. And let's play around with this a little bit more. So we could say color is equal to white. And then let's add some text underneath here for the banner itself. Your Wi-Fi is connected. And there you go. Let's style this a little bit more. We can say here text dash white. That's gonna change the avatar text as well. So we'll change the text color here equal to blue. There we go. I reckon that actually looks really, really nice. How cool is that? So the avatar component isn't just a component that is a circle that you can kind of put things in. Also know that it works really well with a whole bunch of other Quasar components. It's specifically designed to work with a lot of Quasar components. So use it all over your applications when you basically want to add an icon that's sitting inside of a circle or even like a square or a rounded square. It's super, super versatile and an absolute joy to use. So that's the Q avatar component. I'll see you in another video.